The big story right now, migrants continue to flow into the city as frustration is mounting among Chicago residents. In just about an hour, a protest is set to kick off outside of South Shore High School. And earlier this afternoon, hundreds of migrants reportedly arrived at O'Hare Airport as we take a live look at the building right near Terminal 5, uh, where a number of families have been staying. And here's the latest data from city officials. It shows Chicago shelters housing more than 9,800 migrants, while more than 3,000 still await placement. More than 17,000 migrants have come to Chicago since last year. And all this happens as we found a surprise at police stations downtown. The buildings where dozens of migrants had been living were cleared this afternoon with the doors locked. Casey Cronus was there. She joins us on her way to check out the situation at O'Hare. Casey. Hey, Anthony and Natalie. That's right. We will keep you posted on the situation at O'Hare as soon as we arrive. But about an hour and a half ago, take a look. We visited Chicago Police District 1, located at 17th and State. There, with the help of our photographer, Raphael, who translated for us, we spoke with a migrant who says he ventured here from Venezuela. Like so many others, he's been staying in the lobby of that police station. But he tells us this morning, officials at the district moved all of the migrants outside along with their belongings. When we got there, the doors were locked and we weren't even allowed inside the lobby. The migrant we spoke with told us that most of the women and children were picked up and taken to other shelters, but it's unclear where those who are left are supposed to go. And we haven't received a clear response from city officials or police. Meanwhile, as we look into reports of crowding among migrants at O'Hare, city officials just in the last 20 minutes told us that migrants are not being bused there from the city. Rather, we're told they are arriving on planes from San Antonio. However, just in the last 15 minutes, our crew on the ground at O'Hare reported seeing a yellow school bus dropping migrants off. It's unclear where those migrants were bused from. We will continue to bring you the latest on this developing situation as soon as we arrive there. Anthony, Natalie, 